Welcome back to Network Africa and to that story now by the World Health Organization Strategic Advisory Group of Experts issuing new recommendations to address vaccination challenges in the ongoing Ebola outbreak in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, they want uh, recommendations such as operational adjustments to make vaccinations faster and uh, they want the dosage adjusted based on available efficacy data. Every vaccination day requires a lot of preparation, but it is especially true for the Ebola vaccine in the DLC. The World Health Organization's strategic advisory group of experts, SAGE, has suggested expanding the population eligible for vaccination, introducing an additional experimental vaccine, and redoubling ongoing efforts to train nurses, doctors, and medical students from Ebola-affected communities to work on vaccination teams. Before we can proceed to our vaccination activities, we need to get the consent of people in the area in order to tell us that we are accepted and also to tell us where to step up our vaccination outpost, also when we can begin and that we respect the obligated rules. The investigational RV SV Zib of GP Ebola vaccine has been administered to more than 111,000 people since the outbreak was declared in August 2018, but challenges remain. Yes, all field activities have their challenges, like to make people understand that the disease is real, and in order to be protected from it, you need to get the vaccine. Although we know that it's not going to be 100% sure protection, there's a lot of other things to deal with, like rumors that people get about the vaccination. But before we come here, we have to give a lot of explanations and to sensitize the people, and if they accept, because we cannot force any Anyone. They are free to accept it, and it is voluntary. Also, nobody needs to pay for it, so it's up to them to give their consent before we do any activity on the ground. Despite the use of highly efficacious vaccine, the number of new cases continue to rise, in part due to repeated incidents of violence, which affects the ability of response team to immediately identify and create vaccination rings around all people at risk of contracting Ebola. Tanzania plans to introduce a cable car to take people to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro and a move aimed at boosting the number of tourists who visit Africa's tallest mountain. The authorities are already in talks with a Chinese and Western company. About 50,000 tourists climb Mount Kilimanjaro every year. Konstantin Kenyasu, the Deputy Tourism Minister, says a cable car could increase tourist numbers by up to 50% by enabling those who cannot climb to go to the top of the mountain. However, porter and guide groups who take visitors up the mountain are opposed to the plan. Now, as Sudanese protesters continue to demand the creation of a civilian government, dozens of people are painting the walls and the streets of their sit-in camp with murals documenting their struggles. As comes as protesters and activists are negotiating with the Transitional Military Council to form a joint civilian military body to oversee a transition. Residents of Khartoum are set to see Sudan's ongoing protests go through the eyes of a number of graffiti artists who are working on creating a visual legacy of the uprising that toppled the country's strongman Omar al-Bashir last month. The artists adorn the walls of Khartoum with their memories of the protest, painting faces of the protesters and those killed as the event unfolded. The project aims to construct a large painted cloth, which is then to be hung all over the walls of the city, bearing not only paintings of the ongoing protest, but also the signatures of all those who were present since protesters moved to camp in front of the Defense Ministry on April 6. <laughs> The volunteer responsible for collecting signatures, Sarah Hamed, says that one million signatures are expected to find their way to the cloth. Uh, 
من الجداري ان شاء الله هو عباره عن التندنس بتاع ثوره بالنسبه لنا احنا متوقعين حاليا او احنا خاتين رفلي كده انه احنا حيكون عندنا مليون توقيع ان شاء الله Organizers hope the adorned cloth will make it to the Guinness World Record. Bashir was removed by the military on April 11 after months of demonstrations against his 30-year rule. He is also wanted by the International Criminal Court in The Hague for war crimes over the conflict in Sudan's Darfur region. Cut. Hey, you it happening in China and in other parts of the world, but it's also happening here in Nigeria. I'm talking about a mass wedding with over a thousand couples in Kano State. It's a program under the government's mass wedding program. A wedding fatah, which took place at Kano Central Mosque, has in attendance the Emir Muhammad Sanusi II and top religious and traditional rulers across the state. <laughs> Inside the Kano Central Mosque, Emir Mohammed Sanusi II, in presence of the state governor Abdullahi Ganduje, joined the couple in accordance with Islamic tradition. After the religious prayers to traditionally unite the couples, the Emir, who spoke in Hausa, confirms that the Kano Emirate has already established a special committee to provide solutions to increasing reported cases of divorce. Today you've got married courtesy of the state government. This means you are expected to ensure that you provide her with all the necessary support. You must feed her, you must provide her with food, and you must not beat your wife. Back at the state government house, the governor informed the couples the idea of his mass wedding program is to solve socioeconomic problems and also reduce the rate of unmarried population across the state. The rate of divorce is very high in Kano and we have to curtail it. So very soon we are submitting a bill to the state assembly in order to control the issue of divorce in our society. Meanwhile, furnitures worth over 300 million naira were distributed to the couples gotten from the 44 local government areas of the state. His Excellency is presenting a package to each of the couples worth over 200,000 naira. The Kano State Mass Wedding Program is expected to be a continuous exercise while the state government hopes to providing a permanent solution to the increasing cases of divorce across the state. And it all depends on what you want, a quiet and intimate ceremony, or you want to share your day with over a thousand people. Thanks for watching Network Africa. I am Amarachi Ubani.